Good morning, happy Monday, Meditation Monday. I'm pleased to say this morning it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit brighter. Every time I'm here on either a Monday or a Friday, it's now going to be getting lighter in our neck of the woods. Now I'm very guided to work with a system or a meditation this morning that some of you might be familiar with, some of you might be very new to us. And um, not September just gone, September before I ran a Zoom event which took us to the Temple of Neptune and began a, a quite, quite a, it's a bit of a dedicated release program for those of you that want to stick with it and want it or you, or you can just do it the once, however you are guided to work with this. But what has become apparent is at the moment where we're moving frequencies we're shifting vibration very quickly we're being asked to drop our baggage uh, at a rate which is is um, far more accelerated than the kind of the more gradual I won't use the words gentle but the more gradual kind of drawn out processes everything is happening very quickly now so I'll just read a little bit of a, the original text that I wrote and then I'll go into the meditation okay so since the cosmic moment, we've done an incredible amount of personal and planetary work to shift the old 3D patterns and move into a higher frequency. Any baggage and blueprints of the previous era that are, are sown within us have to be released from our physical and our etheric bodies. And uh, our emotional bodies contain all of the blueprints and memories that we've experienced, not just for this lifetime, but many, many other lifetimes. And all of this is now coming up. This is all becoming, this is all becoming very available. We've been taught to identify with our four body system as physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Now this construction constitutes the biosphere of our reality, the things that we experience, but there is a fifth aspect that many of us are becoming increasingly aware of and this uh, this I call the pain body okay so every time we experience something negative within our lives traumatizing painful the consciousness creates a mechanism to deal with this it begins in early childhood and rapidly grows into an alter ego in later life, quite, this alter ego actually quite often runs the show when people aren't aware of it, when people aren't, aren't consciously aware of their triggers, their responses to, to what's going on around them. And a lot of people in a less aware state will spend a considerable amount of time functioning from the pain body rather than from their true selves. So it becomes a wall of protection. It becomes... A, it becomes a personality that that is over presiding and makes it very it, it, when running this personality it becomes very difficult to make the right decisions and and basically rise above the things that are being presented to us at the moment now one effective way of releasing and dissolving this body is to consciously alchemize it with love grace and intention so due to the quantity of additions to this pain body that we have experienced over the last 10,000 years, some of us have accumulated a very robust pain body that requires discipline and patience to release. Okay, now in order to do this, we do not need to actually revisit the site of the trauma and the pain. We simply need to observe it and allow it to move on as it presents itself. So I've been guided and told previously that there are 52 layers of the human pain body. Some of you may be guided to do this daily for 52 days, okay, which I understand is quite a commitment, or you may be guided to do less, or you may be guided to do more. At the end of the meditation or during the meditation, you will be given a number, and that number will be the quantity of days that would be useful for you to repeat this process okay so just listen to what your soul or your higher self is telling you to do and work with the answer so wherever you are in the world just close your eyes take a deep breath in take a deep monday breath breathe in through your nose 
out through your mouth and just allow your body to completely relax. As you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, just visualize a column of Metatron's light coming down from the seven suns through your stellar gateway, your soul star, your causal, your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart. Just allow it to pause in your heart, breathe that light in. Allow it to spread throughout your body, then feel it moving down to your solar plexus, your navel, your sacral, your base, and finally your earth star chakra below the soles of your feet. As the column of light touches your earth star, just allow it to continue down. From your earth star into Serapis Bay's golden pyramid in hollow earth, just see it going down and down below the soles of your feet. Feel yourself grounding multi-dimensionally. Ask Serapis Bay now to hold you and ground you into the highest light. So Metatron above, Serapis Bay below the soles of your feet in hollow earth, you are now grounded, very balanced between heaven and earth, okay? So with your eyes closed, relaxing, grounded, breathing deeply, call forth to the masters of Neptune and ask them to grant you access to the Temple of the Sea. Now this highly sacred place existed during the golden era of Atlantis. Put your right hand on your heart, either out loud <coughs> or in your head. Invoke the masters of Neptune and ask them to grant you access to the Temple of the Sea. Now, almost immediately, you'll feel an energetic shift as you travel to the temple. And just sense and see and visualize yourself standing outside this amazing place now. It is on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean and shaped as a beautiful dome. Waves crash on the far edge and the temple stands tall above you. Just take a few moments to really sense and feel this. You might feel the spray of the sea on your face. You might even taste the salt. Feel the wind in your hair. Just really feel yourself having traveled now to the edge of the Atlantic and standing before the temple of the sea. Now just take a few moments to invite your guides, your angels, your dragons, the ascended masters that you work with and that support you, masters, unicorns, archangels, anybody that is assisting you on your process, gather them round you at this point in time. You might already find that they've joined you and they're two steps ahead of you. And when you are ready, step into the temple. Now, as you enter, the masters of Neptune greet you dressed in robes of shifting blue and green. The walls of this beautiful place have the appearance of being under sea although it is the energy that you can see moving all around you. Take a few moments to drink the atmosphere in. It is deeply peaceful and you feel utterly safe, supported and calm. Now the masters are inviting you to sit in front of a beautiful aquamarine crystal. And this is the center point of the Temple of the Sea. Just take a few moments to feel its power and its radiance. You are connecting to this crystal etherically now. 
through your through your energy, your intention, your spiritual bodies. Tune into it. This crystal is directly connected to the ascended aspect of Neptune called Tutele, and it is ninth dimensional. It's very powerful. Really feel your vibration rising now as it tunes into this powerful aquamarine crystal. Take a few moments sitting in front of the crystal to breathe and relax yourself further. If anything is coming up for you or if anything, if you carried anything into the temple, just allow yourself to become completely calm. Breathe into it. And as you are bathed in powerful aquamarine light, ask your pain body to step forward now. At this point, you may see an aspect of yourself stepping forwards. At this point, it might be in a recognisable form or it may look completely unrecognisable or alien to you. Just allow and accept what or whoever has stepped forwards to present itself. This aspect has steps forwards to be released. So now just take a few moments to lovingly accompany this aspect of yourself or your memories, whatever has come up, to the crystal and just very gently and lovingly encourage them to step in. Just find yourself walking to the crystal and just lovingly and gently encouraging whatever has come up to step into the crystal to be released. And with a very bright flash of beautiful blue green light, they will be taken into the vibration of ascended Neptune and alchemized into a much brighter, much higher light. Now this might take a few moments to occur or it might happen very quickly. Just please be aware that some aspects or memories have a form of consciousness and some might actually be afraid to leave. So just be very gentle, be very loving, be very kind. Just allow this alchemy to take place. Now, as this has occurred now, just take a few moments to thank the Masters of Neptune and everyone who's accompanied you here. Before you leave, just call forth the golden rainbow fire to flood through you physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. The golden rainbow fire, the golden rainbow flame, the highest aspect of the violet flame that is available for us at this time and just feel it rinsing and cleansing and balancing and purifying you. And then when you are ready, step out of the temple of the sea. Just find yourself back on the shore. Just maybe feeling the waves, the spray of the salt the wind in your hair and just allow yourself to gently travel back to your body wherever you are. And with your feet on the floor thoroughly grounded, open your eyes and come back to where you are sat. Okay?
Now, whilst you were still with me, you might have got the number during the meditation or at the start when I first started presenting it to you. Just take a few moments now, close your eyes. What number is presented to you? Could be anything, could be one, could be 22, could be 40, could be 52, or it could, <laughs> if you're unlucky, it could be more. I was saying that, no, not, not unlucky, but this, this, this visualization is designed to be done on a daily basis, not in its full format, but as a spiritual practice every morning until the layers of the pain body that have been presenting themselves or are prepared to present themselves are prepared to be released. Now, when it was first written back in September 2019, the number that was given to me was 52. Things have changed since that point. We are living in a much higher frequency and we've had the opportunity to release a lot. So you might have already naturally worked through those 52 layers or you might have done it back then and there is more presenting itself to you now. So just take, take a few moments now, just sit with me. What number is presented to you at this moment in time? Whatever it is, that's your number. Okay, sending you all lots of love. I will be running a workshop with the wonderful Carolyn Bennett on Thursday. We are working with Unity, okay? So please join us if, if you can. Uh, so it's the first one with stability. This week is Unity, and it's all about Unity at the moment. So I'd love to see you there if you can join us. And if not, then I'll see you again on Friday for the, for the next Ascension instalment. Lots of love. Bye for now.